My son, if thou come to serve the Most High, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that ye may be saved. For the Most High had given the father honor over the children, and had confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins, and he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his own children, and when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honoreth his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient unto the Most High shall be a comfort to his mother. And he that feareth the Most High will honor his father, and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. Honor thy father and thy mother, both in word and in deed, that a blessing may come upon thee from them. For the blessing of the father establisheth the houses of children, but the curse of the mother rooted out foundations. My son, help thy father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before Ahaya. Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of the Most High is great, and he is honored of the lowly. My son, defraud not the poor of his living, and make not the needy eyes to wait long. Make not an hungry soul sorrowful, neither provoke a man in his distress. Whoso feareth the Most High, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. To fear the Most High is the beginning of all wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. Ye that fear the Most High, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Most High, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Most High, hope for good, and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in the Most High and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Most High is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience, what will ye do when the Most High shall visit you? They that fear the Most High will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Most High will seek that which is well, pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. Suffereth wrong from the hand of the oppressor, and be not faint-hearted 
when thou art seated in judgment. Be as a father unto the fatherless, and instead of an husband unto their mother, so shall thou be as the son of the Most High, and he shall love thee more than thy mother doeth. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Most High shall find him. Whoso feareth the Most High shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbors also be. My son, gather instructions from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. If thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow down thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Do no evil, my son, so shall no harm come upon thee. Depart from the unjust, and iniquity shall turn away from thee. So not upon the furrows of unrighteousness, and thou shalt not reap them sevenfold. Devise not a lie against thy brother, neither do the like to thy friend. Use not to make any manner of lie, for the custom thereof is not good. Use not many words in a multitude of elders, and make not much blabbing when thou prayest. My son, hast thou children? Instruct them, and bow down their neck from their youth up. Hast thou daughters? Have a care of their body, and shew not thyself cheerful towards them. Marry thy daughter, and so shalt thou have performed a weighty matter. But give her to a man of understanding. Hast thou a wife after thine mind? Forsake her not, but give not thyself over to a light woman. For go not a good and a wise woman, for her grace is gold. And stretch thine hand unto the poor, that thy blessing may be perfected. My son, forsake not an old friend, for the new is not comparable to him. A new friend is as new wine. When it is old, thou shalt drink it with pleasure. Humble thyself greatly, for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. Change not a friend for any good by no means, neither a faithful brother for the gold of a fear. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. They that fear the Most High are a sure seed, and they that love him an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed, and they that transgress the commandments are deceivable seeds. A friend cannot be known in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. In the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. My son, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High Ahaya Alahayam, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Let your name be magnified. Let your name be magnified.